I will do some housekeeping right now and create a new work group which will allow me to sketch on an uncluttered screen if I choose to. I am also going to clean up the process list area in preparation for the next process. Okay, now I will use the same tool to finish some of the other surfaces. The next place I would like to finish is the bottom floor face at the first step, which is minus two inches. To do this, I will use the same tool with a pocketing process tile. Once again, RPM and feed rates go in this area. I will make the cut width to be 0.75, accept the entry and exit motions of 0.02 line and 0.125 radius. Once again, this is the finishing cut, so I will leave nothing in these boxes. Use stock on, minus 1.9 in the entry clearance plane, Point 0.1 in the exit clearance plane. Start at minus 1.97 and go to the depth of minus 2. Climb mill and corner break with a zero radius will work. The cutter radius compensation can be on. Go to the solids tab and check to see that the surface stock is set to zero. Now go to the offset trim tab. Let's use offset from part and material for this example. Okay, this looks good. Now go to the face selection and select the face of the lower step and hit the do it button. As you can see, the system tries to machine the face and will not machine where there are holes. Let's open the Profiler tool and bring it down into position. Now what happens when I click the profile and redo it? Okay, this is actually not bad. The system makes three separate operations. If I want to, I can select and throw away the two which I do not need. However, a better way is to go back to the process menu and select material only and hit the redo button. Since the system has already machined the two areas on either side of the part, they do not get machined again by this process. This technique works well. I will show you another technique to machine this face. Using face selection, we can actually patch the holes quickly. Select the holes and their respective chamfers. Go to the Advanced Modeling Tools and select Unstitch Solid. The holes are patched up. If you click where there was a hole, you will get a plug the same size. This was automatically created by the system. If you do not want plugs to be created when you patch things up, right click while your mouse cursor is above the Unstitch Solids tool and select Options. Now uncheck Create Plug. Okay, now it won't do that anymore. They do not harm anything, but they also do not do much good in this case.